Hi everyone, Jeremy Blum here. As some of you might know, I recently started a company called Blum Idea Labs. This is basically an infrastructure that I'm using to do the videos and the content production and the consulting that I already do. But under this new umbrella, I also wanted to start offering products that help people get engaged in engineering and product design and things like that. So to that end, today I'm releasing my first product under the Blum Idea Labs moniker, which is a poster. It's called the Idea to Innovation Flowchart, and it's basically the process that I use whenever I'm going through and starting a new project, designing a product, even making a video, uh, or, or writing an extensive paper. The idea behind the poster is to provide something that you can look at and see, here's the steps, here's what I have to do next, and here's how I stay on track to actually release something. People have a tendency to get sidetracked on projects, myself included, uh, with other things, and I think that having it printed out is something that you can look at is really helpful. Uh, all the proceeds from the sales of this poster will be used directly to help me with developing more open source projects, making more videos, uh, hosting my website, things like that. So the idea here behind the poster is there's a couple steps that you go through to take an idea and turn it into reality, uh, which I walk you through on the poster. First, you have an idea, you come up with something you want to do. Then you document it, research and design. To what degree has something similar to this been done before? Can you build upon other ideas? Things like that. Sleep on it. This is a really important step that people often forget. Um, once you have an idea, it's important to take some time to reflect upon it and not just jump into it immediately and to be too overzealous because that can end up backfiring. Next step is to do a sanity check. For this purpose, I usually go to my friends and family to see what they think about the idea. Is it something that just I think would be useful or will a lot of people find it useful? The next step is to approach the problem. Sometimes this means starting the design yourself. Sometimes it means finding partners to help you. Uh, that depends on the magnitude of the, of the project and what you're actually trying to do. The next step is kind of uh, three phases. It involves iterating on your design, uh, selecting a timeline so you stay on schedule, uh, and avoiding feature creep. Feature creep is when you keep adding features, more and more features, because you're like, oh, this one additional thing would be really cool, and this one additional thing would be really cool. And you keep adding things, but you never actually release it to anyone, because you're so preoccupied with making it perfect. In reality, the first release of any product is not going to be perfect, or really anything is never going to be perfect the first time. It's more important that you get something out there that you feel pretty good about, uh, and then you get feedback from people and use that to improve upon it. That's when you release the minimum viable product. If you get positive feedback, you increment on your design and continue the, the incrementing process. If you get negative feedback, you kind of pivot and see if you can look at the problem from a different angle, salvage uh, what you can, uh, and readjust, readjust your project and uh, your missions for it so you can make it work. So that's the idea to innovation flowchart. This is something I've been working on for several months now, uh, running it by members of the online open source community and product design communities uh, to get their opinions. I worked really hard on it. Uh, and I hope that you guys like it. Uh, like I said, any purchases will be used to help me fund further videos and open source materials to help teach people about engineering. And I'm really excited about that. So go take a look. The link is in the description. I think it makes an awesome addition to a dorm room or an office, uh, anything like that. And it's a good gift, too. Okay, I hope you guys like it, and I'll see you again soon with more videos and tutorials, all of which I'm working on now. Thanks a lot.